Today, the royal family and the country is saying goodbye to the Duke of Edinburgh. The ceremony was held at St. George Chapel, in the grounds of Windsor Castle. Philip is reported to have requested a funeral of minimal fuss and has not lain in state, where members of the public would have been able to view his coffin. Given coronavirus restrictions, there has been speculation over who would and would not attend. The guest list includes members of the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh's families, including three of his German relatives. Prince Harry is also present at Windsor Castle, but Meghan Markle was unable to travel to the UK due to doctor's advice. One lesser known figure in attendance today was Penny, Countess Mountbatten. She is the wife of Earl Mountbatten, Norton Natchville, the grandson of Philip's uncle Lord Louis Mountbatten. Penny married Earl Mountbatten in 1979, just two months after Lord Mountbatten was assassinated by the IRA. She was also very close to the Duke of Edinburgh, with their friendship first blossoming in 1994 when he began teaching her how to carriage drive. Penny was often seen at Sandringham, and also regularly saw Philip at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. In fact, her closeness to the royal family even earned her an affectionate nickname. It has been said that she was dubbed and also by courtiers, because no guest list was ever complete without her. Buckingham Palace said the Queen faced some very difficult decisions as she selected the 30 guests permitted under COVID-19 rules, from the original 800-strong congregation, and had tried to ensure all branches of the Duke's family were there. Therefore Penny's presence today indicates just how strong their companionship was, despite their 32-year age difference. According to a close friend of Penny's, Philip provided support for her after Norton left for the Bahamas in 2010 to start a new life with Lady Nuttall. They said, I often wonder how their mother, Penny, copes with all the tragedy she has suffered. But Shush is a strong character, much stronger than Norton. I think Penny gets it from her father. He was a man who always seemed to know where he was going. She has always been close to the royal family, as one friend who has known her since those early days previously recalled, she was one of the most natural young women I have ever met, outgoing but not brash or flirty. One royal source told Grazia, Penny and the Duke of Edinburgh shared decades of affection. Her presence at the funeral among only 30 attendees is exactly what the late Duke would have wanted, and the entire family will be pleased to have her among them on the somber occasion. Naturally, the situation will mean that they must all keep their distance from each other, but coming together in grief will be hugely beneficial and of great comfort to all.